back when it was built, it was fine. 2023, not so much. Starting here, between the living room in the front and the master bedroom, because, well, it's cool. Blowing out the back wall of the house here, including the fireplace, probably. I know, I know this is gonna be a lot of work. I know it is. My wife questions lots of things that I do, rightfully so. But this one, this one might top the list. Hold on, we're almost there. I'm Brad, this is DIY Wouldn't You. You like that echo? Well, I don't really know how to say this without saying it. Welcome to our 1917 farmhouse that we're turning into an Airbnb. Before I even started the channel, this is something that I had been wanting to take on. And I was never really at the point where I could, um, I couldn't do it by myself, I needed somebody to do this with me. There's a house right around the corner from my own that was a cool little farmhouse. And I noticed that it was a rental property. I told my wife one day, if that house ever goes vacant for more than a couple months, that means that the owners are not in a hurry to get a renter back into that house. Today is October 9th, 2023. I reached out to the owner of this property last August, August of 2022. We closed on this property Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. So one year and one month later. Now, not anything against the owners of this house, that's just how long it took to finalize everything, get everybody in town at the same time. This was an estate that was left to the four children who are now 60s, 70s, 80s that actually grew up in this house, which makes it that much more cool. Now, from my understanding, the house was built in 1917, added on to it in the 40s or 50s, added on to it again in the 70s or 80s, and now we're going to be adding on to it again. 2023 so I've teamed up with my dad I'm gonna do a full video series on it hope you guys will keep up with it because this is gonna be a fun journey I can already picture what this place is gonna look like when it's finished let's check this place out as you enter the front door we come into the living room in the living room there's a brick fireplace with a classic looking mantle above it. Now in this front living room here, there are three doorways. One, two, three. This one goes into the dining room and then back into the kitchen where we just were. This one goes into a front bedroom, which is a little bit dark, with a closet that was added on. This one goes into a middle bedroom, which is quite large, with an old closet that's underneath the staircase that leads up to the attic. We're not gonna go up there quite yet, so let's just close that back up. Now beside the attic door, there is another door that leads to what would technically be considered the master bedroom. To get to this bedroom, you have to come through this little, I don't know, hallway, where there's a small bathroom, one sink, toilet, bathtub, and there's a closet right here. This seems to be the only bedroom that has a original built closet and bathroom, which is why I would consider this the master. That being said, I don't know what this room technically used to be that's now a bedroom. But there's a doorway here that goes to the other end of the dining room. Let's go back through this way though. Back to the front of the house. There's the front door, front bedroom, middle bedroom, master bedroom. And then the other doorway that I was showing you right here that leads into the dining room. It's a cool dining room. Now the ceiling, not quite so cool. It's got a bunch of stains on it. This light fixture is, we'll call it vintage. And the fireplace that's in the living room in the front is in the dining room as well, which is pretty cool. So you come through the dining room here into the kitchen. This kitchen, 
while it's really cool. And the wallpaper is super fresh, as it says here, fresh fruit. We're gonna change this. We're gonna change it quite a bit. The ceiling here, well, I'm five foot six, and I can touch the ceiling standing flat-footed, so I believe that the ceiling is right at seven feet, which I'm not trying to have it. So then, from the kitchen, you come into the addition on the back, which is what I would consider the new living room. It's got a big brick fireplace with a big, chunky live edge mantle from a log cabin further out in the country than we are right now. We may end up having to lose this fireplace. If so, I'm gonna see if I can still use this mantle somehow. There is a full bathroom, which is actually bathroom on this side. Hello! And was laundry room on this side. One thing that I really love about the layout is there's a utility room off of the kitchen, which is where the breaker panel is. On this side, there's the perfect spot for a washer and dryer. Off of the new living room back here, there is a, what I would consider a sunroom. As you can see, there is lap siding on the interior wall of this porch, which tells me that this used to be the outside wall of the house, and they added this room on later. Pretty cool. This is a really cool property. The family that we purchased the property from is fantastic. I can't wait to get this place updated and fresh and restore it to its beauty. Now our plan right now, like I said earlier, is to turn this into an Airbnb. I've already spoken with the people that we purchased this house from, and they asked if they could be the first to rent this house. 100% yes. You grew up here, you've got dibs. Now that I've shown you the layout of the house, let's talk about what we're gonna do with it. The layout of the house is slightly wacky. Back when it was built, it made sense, it was fine. 2023, not so much. You don't want people walking through your bedroom to get to another bedroom and a bathroom. As of right now, here's our plan for this house. This front bedroom off of the living room, we're gonna leave alone. As we come from the living room in the front of the house into this middle bedroom that is theoretically a walkway to the other bedroom. This will no longer be as large of a room. Our plan is this currently, to remove this door and to build a wall, starting here and running to here, creating a hallway between the living room in the front and the master bedroom where the bathroom is. Removing the door here, opening it up a little bit, and adding a door to get into this bedroom that we're currently standing in. What that will do is give the people in that bedroom privacy to where you don't have to walk through this bedroom. Yes, it will create a smaller bedroom here. Not too worried about that aspect of it. We're also going to be removing this door that lets you walk into the dining room because really you don't need to walk off of the kitchen into a bedroom directly from the dining room. Funneling everybody into the three bedrooms in the front from the front living room, which I think is gonna flow a lot better and make it feel more cozy. The laundry currently is in this back bathroom that I was talking about. However, we're going to relocate the laundry to the utility room off of the kitchen right here, which is where I feel like it should be anyway, and then do pantry on this side where the breaker panel is. That gives us the opportunity to enlarge this bathroom, move the toilet over here to where the washer and dryer were, put a double vanity in, and then create a much larger shower on this side of the bathroom. Why do we need a double vanity in a bathroom off of the living room? Because we will be blowing out the back wall of the house here, including the fireplace, extending this room back about 10 feet, building another wall from the entrance from the side porch across to here, and putting a doorway into what will now be the master suite. This room is gonna be about 17 feet wide and about 17 feet deep as well. Looking out through large windows into the beautiful backyard of this property. I know, I know this is gonna be a lot of work. I know it is, but I'm up for it. And when it's done, it's gonna be amazing. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a video series on this. I hope you guys will tag along. I'm gonna get videos out as fast as I can. I do have good news. My channel is at the point where I can monetize. However, I'm having a little bit of difficulty figuring out how to monetize. I've tried to reach out to YouTube. They don't have any contact information, which is very frustrating. I appreciate everything you guys are doing, and I'm really looking forward to this video series. I'm Brad. This is DIY Wouldn't You. Thanks for watching.
I'll see you real soon.